Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only Silo Man, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. For the next 20 minutes, I hope to be taking you through some of the final things that we're doing on both the lower level and the upper level. Things like, for example, putting the trim in on the upper level and finishing the electrical subfed panel on the lower level. And in which over these next few minutes, you're going to be seeing some of the photographs that we're using for this. Right now, we've been at this, and as of right now, this today is the 16th of February uh, 2020. So it gives you an idea this last week we've been working on this. And in the background, you can probably hear some of the noise of, of what we're doing on the lower level, putting the uh, sheetrock on. But anyway, you'll be getting to see this. Right here, you're just looking at where we're finishing up some of the work on the upper level. And the kitchenette. And here we're finishing the final coat on that ceiling. And you can see Manny up there painting that. Looking down now, we're on the other side of the lower level. And what we're gonna be doing here is, is taking care of the drain lines coming down, also the old drain line. We haven't really decided yet whether we want to take it out completely or leave partial, leave part of it in place. Um, probably at a later date we'll figure out what we want to do there. Um, here's Manny coming on around the last bit of the center petition that, that's non-bearing that we put in. And then back on over to the side where we're going to be doing some of the drain line. Again, coming from the top all the way down through there. Thought it'd make it nice by painting it the same color we painted the upper level. And some of the barrels we're gonna be cleaning these shortly and they're gonna be holding a little residual water here. And you, I'll take you through some of the things we're gonna do for a, for a redundancy in terms of some of the water that we have on at the site. And here you can see Manny's finishing up some of the the drain lines coming down from the upper level. We have designed this to where there can be a bathroom with another toilet directly in line with that drain, but we just decided not to put it in at this point. But it certainly it, it can be put in at any time. And then again, Manny finishing up on the old drain line that was originally when the site was built. Wow, it's been something to see. Finally, when we get all of this out of here, and you can see the electrical panel in the back. Right now, that's already been installed, so it's kind of neat to look back on these, and you're just, wow, look at all that. And again, Manny finishing up on the drain, coming from the upper level shower as he's going over. And here, Carrie's putting together a little bleach solution that we're gonna we're gonna clean these barrels, and we're gonna clean it with a little bleach, and then come back with with uh, hydrogen peroxide. And again, we're last we're down to the last line that we're gonna be doing, but we wanted to scrape it. It's got some peeling paint on it. And we're cleaning the barrels at this point. You can see the new 200 amp panel that's over off to the, to the left of where Carrie's standing. So we're kind of trying to do two tasks at the same time. Manny again finishing up on the, on the drain lines. And 
there you just about had it. I mean, what a beautiful looking job, especially when you're, you know, when you're just standing there looking at it and you're going, wow, this really changes everything. So it's so satisfying to finally see it all come together. Now we're finishing the lids on the barrels. We're going to be putting up some of the some of the covers on the electric, uh, cover plates for the electrical outlets. And again, our spaghetti doesn't look like that way now, but you'll be seeing that over the next few minutes. It was really nice to see it all come together. We're just draining out some of the water that we had with some of the bleach. The reason we're doing this is we want to, we, we'd like to have about 300 gallons of water underground at any time. Uh, last week, well, really two weeks ago, it got pretty cold here. In fact, we hadn't backfilled yet the new hookup on the uh, in-ground tank on the surface and it, it was so cold in the Roswell area that it froze our water line and therefore we didn't have any water underground of course we have of course we had some bottled water and uh, so it wasn't it wasn't absolutely necessary but it was enough that we've got so much redundancy for example on electricity with an emergency backup generator and so on and so forth that we decided it was a good idea that you know, let's have about 300 gallons of extra water here just on standby. Even though we're going to insulate those lines on the surface and then, of course, backfill. I think our frost line here in the Russell area is only about three or four inches. So at that point, we shouldn't have a problem. But even so, it's nice to have this type of water just in case you, you need it. And there, all of the electrical lines that were coming down there that we ran all throughout the site. You can see we're painting those. Now we're gonna paint the threshold that leads from the stairwell into the lower level. And now we're on the other side of the room and this is really about the last of the electric We had quite a few ladders on the surface, so we went ahead and we're just in the process of now cleaning up what we do have and moving it out. This is some of Manny's stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and Manny right now is sleeping in the office, and you're gonna be seeing that. I built that office many years ago just simply as a, an area in which I could work if I ever wanted to, and, and you'll be seeing that. Again, that last line coming down from the upper level. Just about done. You can see that open area. Once we get that panel in place, all of that will be sheetrock, muttered and taped. And then of course painted and we'll drop the rest of the trim in. That's part of the completion. And then carries down to the last, I think. He's got two barrels left. Some of that spaghetti you see up there in the upper portion of the photograph, uh, that's just for the upper level where we'll be tying in those circuits into the 200 amp panel up on, up on the upper level. And here's Kerry doing some work inside the barrel. He'd never been inside of a 55 gallon barrel, so it was kind of comical. Again, nobody knew if he was sleeping or not, so. And there, Manny's finishing up on the uprights. And 
not too much left. And we're just consolidating some of the remaining paint. Some of the covers for the for the fifty-five gallon drum. And there, Carrie's discharging. He's up at the top of the stairwell. He's about to go into the glass log and out through the entryway. And there we have Manny finally cleaning up the floor after everything. We've removed all of that stuff and it's all ticked and tied and put away. So it's time to clean the floor and get ready to knock out that electrical. We had a few ladders, as I've said before, up on the surface, so we brought everything down. And there you see the other side. All right, we got the panel in place. Taking the measurements. Other side, you can see how nice it's coming along. Cut the sheetrock in place that we're going to be using to fill in those last few spots. Manny still shop vacuum. Went ahead and painted. We had, we had not painted the inside of the upper level doors. There's only three, so we went ahead and did that. Then we'll come back and put the doors in the carriers. The way we eat, we have a little table upstairs. You see in the background, we're about to put the, the D-Walt on top of them. The workbench that we can extend out. Here's a little something that we did on the water line coming in. You can see the jet pump there. We've got a 55 gallon drum full of water that's right beside it. Here's some of the mess that we're trying to get away from. And we'll be going through that and, and moving it into different locations to free up some of the space in the lower level so we can do the floor. We went ahead and cut the line and put in a hose bib and then we just run out a standard garden hose, and we can fill that barrel with the water coming in from up above on the surface. And you can do it two ways. I mean, we've got plenty of pressure coming in just without the jet pump with gravity feed, but by using it. Here we are in the silo, and you can see we've got four, uh, four 55 gallons that are full of water. Here's a little office that I built years ago, and that's, of course, is Manny's replaceable bed. You can see that's looking from the silo. You see some of the repelling gear on the left. Some of what we're doing, we're just going ahead and then we'll seal these barrels up and we'll probably change that water every few months. But at least there'll be 300 gallons. Here's looking at Kerry. We, we've gone ahead and taken some of the tools and just uh, put them inside some of the empty barrels. That's a good place for them. We just simply don't have the room now in the lower level because we're going to be painting that floor. Um, and we want everything out of there. And here's a different look. You can see the jet pump with the filtration on the right. You can see the water barrel on the left. I'd like to kind of, I want to eventually bring that jet pump up. And uh, there'll be a platform for it. But I like it down in the sump. If there's ever a leak, it doesn't leak into the, uh, into the utility tunnel. It basically drains out to the silo. And of course, with all the structure in the silo uh, at this site, and it's naturally dry. And here we're putting in a small header just for the top of the, uh, the electrical panel itself. Well, this was a long time coming just on this, but you know, back on that water system, boy, that was fun. I mean, now we've got the redundancy there. If we do need to, for any reason that we need a little more, we just attach a hoses and we've got, you know, 
capability to move that water really anywhere we need it. Here again you can see the, the 200 amp panel. Now we're going ahead and putting some of the cover plates on. I was looking at the colors. Um, I kind of like this. It was very satisfying to finally see this all starting to come together. And there you have it. We finally got the panel in place and we're going to go ahead and start wiring it up. At that point, Manny can start in on the backside as you see in this photograph, putting in the drywall and coming back with the mud tape. And we've already punched out the holes for the circuits on each side. We just finished this last night and it would have been the 15th of March here. Manny has given the first coat of the mud and tape on the back side where the electrical panel is. The reason I kept both sides open is I just wasn't sure which way I wanted to face that panel. So finally I made the decision to do it on the other side so we went ahead and hit this. And there we've got both sides uh, ready to start, you know, running it into the, making our cuts. And at that point running it into the panel itself. You can see us doing that. And Manny's still working on the backside. Yay! And we're trying to finish this up, and you'll see if it'll be. We'll probably have this site up for sale in the next few weeks. Um, but it's really been a fun project. We're looking at. Uh, probably going into the silo in the next couple weeks also because I want to change the lighting system. It's the old halogen bulb uh, 500 watt lights, which is just an energy hog. And so we'll be going in with some different LEDs uh, in the silo. So you'll see us start to light it up at le different levels. So that'll, and we hope to shoot that in live video so you'll be able to really enjoy it. But it's going to probably come in the next couple weeks. We want to get that lit up. Uh, here again, Manny's finishing. This has just been a, just so enjoyable to finally see her come together. And Manny here is putting on, uh, this is the second coat. So this absolutely occurred this morning, February the 16th. And again, then we'll start sheet rocking some of the areas around the panel. We've already got all the wire into the panel itself. We'll just do the final hookups a little later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. I mean, you're going to see a lot more of the silo. I realize right now this is a bit dry. <laughs> you know, all you're seeing is some of the little work that we're doing. But I think it's kind of rewarding to finally to go through what it takes for an Atlas F. I mean, it's just that simple. We, I've, I've done quite a few of these, so it's, it's just different. Again, please subscribe. Click that bell for new updates. If you'd like to help us, uh, I've got a Patreon page. You'll see that on the start. Uh, again, thanks to Kerry Olson and Manny. Uh, couldn't have done it without them. And, and just again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hope to, and, and I'll probably, probably within the next two or three days, you'll be getting another video. Again, thank you so much and have a great day.